Okay, so today in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to get started with designing an electric guitar body shape. So we're going to create a document. Let's call this electric guitar body design. Now, the first thing that you'll need to do is we're going to make a sketch in the front plane. And we need to import the DXF that is all the specced out pockets and so forth for the electric guitar body, the things that are non-negotiable or no-fly zones are established in that file. So I'm going to grab that file real quick. By clicking the DXF button here, this menu pops up, choose the import button at the bottom. And then I need to go in my documents folder to go get that file. It uploads it and gives you a notice that it's uploading with the progress bar. At that point, I'm gonna click on the shape and I made a mistake. So we'll talk through this together. The body shape came in way too big. Okay, so I'm going to undo that and I'm going to go back and import the DXF again. Units instead of inch, please change units to centimeter. Okay, and I go import that body one more time. which may not have been necessary. Importing, changing the units might have been enough. But in any event, um, and then I'm gonna turn the visibility off on all these other work planes so that they are not interfering with what we're trying to see, what we're trying to do. So I made a sketch, I imported the DXF, I changed the units to centimeters when I did the import. Now, I wanna simulate the giant block of wood that this is gonna get cut from. So I finished the sketch, and I come into an extrude. And what I really want to do is I want to extrude the whole thing as a solid. If I just click on that, that's not going to do the whole thing. That's going to leave a bunch of holes. So instead, I'm going to start at the upper left just outside that corner. And I'm going to drag across. And what I want to try to do is leave out those arcs from where the mounts are on the right side. And I snagged this top one. I left the bottom one off, but I snagged the top one. So I'm gonna zoom in on the top a little bit, hold down the shift key, the shift key, and click on that area of the profile to unselect it. Let me zoom back out. Now what I can see here is I've got the entire thing. It's anticipating a one inch thick preview. I'm gonna go the other direction, guys. I want the sketch to end up being in the very top of this block, not in the, bottom, not in the base of it or the bottom. So I'm going to go the other direction, and a standard electric guitar body blank is one and three quarters inches thick. And that preview looks about right. So now we've taken, we've done the, the sketch, the DXF import, we've extruded this, and we've selected everything except those two little arcs. And this DXF file, in case you're wondering, is coming to us from the STEM Guitar Project, and it's an export from a 3D model that they use on their platform. So there's the block of wood. Now I want to turn the visibility back on for this sketch because there are a couple other things we're going to do today before we call it quits. Um, we're going to extrude the pickup pocket for the pickups and we're going to extrude the pocket that the neck bolts into. So to do that, I'm going to get into extrude again and I'm going to highlight with a box around everything for the neck pocket. And I think while I'm at it, I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this neck pocket. So you can see neck pocket. And for a depth on that, we want to do a depth of 0 0.7 inches. And we want to change, we want to make it remove 
And it's always a good idea, now that I've got the lines selected for this, it's always a good idea to look at the preview as a 3D. And you can see the arrow and you can see the shadow. This is going to remove material going into that block of wood, which would simulate the router bit cutting some of that away. That's what we want. And there's our neck pocket. The next thing that we want to take care of is we want to do another extrude. And we want to extrude um, the pickups. And this is a little tricky because you can see we've got these squarish corners on this rectangle here. When the DXF imported, the corners are some where some hole center points are, but we don't actually want that rectangle to be part of our extrusion. So when it comes to picking faces for removing material, we want to pick this stuff like this. I'm going to pick these things all around the perimeter here. It's a few more pieces and a few more clicks, but that's the shape that we want for each of the two pickups. All right. And for a depth on that, one inch is probably okay, but in case those screws are kind of long, and depending on how you drill for your electronics and everything with the really long drill bit, let's go ahead and increase those to one and a quarter for good measure. And green check mark to accept it. And that's as far as we're going to go with this, this session. Okay, that's enough to digest. Bringing in the DXF, getting the block to export, and doing the pockets. It's not a bad idea to go back and change some of the names on this. Like this is, call that the blank. And this extrusion, we'll call this one pickup pockets. So we've got some names for things. And we'll continue the process next time. In the next session, we will finish this off. Okay.